morning, happy Monday, happy day 22, phase one, week 475 hard. Where the hell is the time going? Oh my goodness, this is going by so fast and I am so here for it and loving it and I am so jacked right now, it's not even funny. Y'all should have seen me legit 20 minutes ago because I was so tired and so not feeling it and once I take my gym juice, y'all, once you take your gym juice, which is the Equip Pre-Workout, I've had a lot of y'all ask, it's the Equip Pre-Workout and today, if you're watching on Monday, I have a sale, 25% off all their pre-workout but it ends today on Monday so if you forgot about it last week or you didn't even know about it girl go and snag it right now oh my gosh I'm so tingly it's running through my veins I'm wanting to go in there and just freaking go beast mode and yes that's what you want to do is get up each and every day with a positive mindset drink your gym juice to wake you up and go beast mode yesterday we're coming off of a carb up day so that's always good as well and we did our 10k but i actually did if you watch that cyclical keto video i'm gonna link it down below and up above i ran eight miles which is the furthest i have ran since my foot injury for autism awareness it was the run that i wanted to do for trey yesterday and it was the best run i've ever had in my life it was so emotional so great so fire However, my foot's hurting. My foot is hurting. Not like it was like with the injury. It's not that extreme, but it definitely is sore and it's definitely a sign of girl, you know, usually your five, six miles is your limit because I have no pain after doing that distance. Long distance is affecting my foot. That's just something I have to deal with going forward or know that my body is having that reaction when going long distance. So that's the longest I've went, but it felt phenomenal and it was an amazing day, all of us coming together. So thank you so much if you participated, donated, whatever you did. It means so much to me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And continue, guys, to spread awareness for autism throughout the rest of the month of April. Today, we are doing the same back circuit we did last week. I filmed a couple of clips last week for you, so definitely watch last week's vlog if you missed it. I'm going to try to maybe today as well. And I'm just going to try to lift even heavier than I did last week and absolutely kill it. I want to go on that progression each and every week to go on progression overload, which means you want to lift heavier each and every week so you can see significant gains in the gym. Remember to be safe out there. If it is too heavy and you feel like you're hurting yourself, definitely go back to the other weight and maybe just do an increased amount of reps. Don't hurt yourself at all. Tingly, jacked, Let's get in here and use it to good use. I'm ready. I'm ready to kill this week. I am ready to finish this phase one hella strong. <laughs> weight on most of the cable exercises that you saw max weight 
And even then, except for the last round. So the last round's always the worst for me because I'm like spent by then. I have done like went beast mode. We are out of gas. We're not out of gas, but we're just feeling it. Man, it even felt light like the first and second round. I was like, what the actual hell? Because I have been doing not 95 pounds for those cable exercises. I've been doing like 80 and going to 95 today, I thought I was going to die, but that just goes to show you that you need to push yourself. If it is feeling too light or just try to get out of your comfort zone within reason, don't hurt yourself. I always say that. It felt light today. What? I don't know if it's like coming off the carb up. The carb cycling definitely helps me guys with lifting in the gym. The first three days is when I'm the best in the gym. And then after that, it's like, oh, we're, trying, we're losing a little bit more steam. But as far as lifting goes, I definitely lift heavier when I carb cycle. And that's one of the main reasons why I do it. If you haven't watched this carb cycling videos, I have a whole playlist. And the very first video explains if you are a candidate or not when carb cycling and all the pros and cons of it. Wow, feel fire, it feels so strong. I just feel strong right now because I was able to lift so heavy. We are still trying to go up on the lat pull downs. As you saw, that was 85 pounds. However, last round I did do 10 at 100 pounds, but it's like all I could do to get that 100 pounds down. But the 85 is starting to feel lighter than it has been. So that's a good sign because my goal is to go to 100 normally for those and then do our last five with like 110 or whatever the next up in the poundage is. But I'm just loving just feeling stronger, just feeling strong. Y'all know my message here is strong, not skinny. It doesn't have to be about keto. You can do Weight Watchers, Paleo, just be overall healthy choices. It does not matter. As long as you are moving your body and as long as you are eating healthier than you did before, you are winning at life and you are winning at your fitness and your health goals each and every day. If you progress each and every day and do better, a little bit better each and every day, you are winning at life and at all your goals. 11.40 is brunch time. So I've got three of the happy eggs in there and I had just a little bit of the liquid egg whites left. So I'm trying to up the protein. So I added that to it. Some everything but the bagel seasoning and Redmond's real salt. I'm gonna cover that and let that do its thing. While my eggs are cooking, I finished the first half gallon already before noon. Who is she? First meal of the day, we have our regular community coffee K-cup with a scoop of the prime protein Equip vanilla. Then we've got three eggs. I know it looks crazy. Three eggs with the added egg whites. You can't even see the yolks in there. Hopefully they're not like cooked through because you know we like those runny eggs. Chicken sausages are homemade. I have a video for that. And we have the just made muffins. I'm doing the chocolate and the strawberry today. Half an avocado, Redmond's Real Salt, and red pepper flakes for brunch for Monday. That was awesome. And the added egg whites to the eggs was fire. Like the, the yolks were cooked through, but it was still good with all that everything bagel seasoning on point. And if you have not jumped on the Just Made Keto Muffin Train, I don't know what you're doing. Look down below. Go ahead and order you some. Thank me later. We've got to get dinner ready already. I know it's 12 o'clock, but we got a crock pot recipe that we've made before. Before I get dinner prepped, I totally forgot to tell y'all about the smoking deal on the protein powder we have going with Equip. $15 off each bag. That's crazy. And then if you buy two bags, you're going to get free shipping. So buy two bags, get $30 off basically and free shipping. That is phenomenal. So if you have been needing some more of the protein powder or if you've been holding out, that is a hot deal. And that's going on all this week if you're watching Monday up until the next Monday with the code that I have coming right here in the link down below. So go and check that out and score you a really good deal on the protein powder. Y'all know I'm obsessed with all flavors, but y'all see me use the vanilla and the chocolate most. For dinner, we're doing slow cooker creamy tomato basil chicken. I have made this before when I was doing Mediterranean for 75 hard. It is super easy. It's basically like a dump and go recipe, but it's delicious, y'all. It is so, so good. And we've only had it that one time, so I wanted to make it again. So I've got it on low for about four hours. It says three to five hours. We'll check it. I've got the Cook's Venture Chicken in there from Imperfect Foods I love so much. And the original recipe, I'll have it linked down below. It's a Pinterest recipe, but it calls for cornstarch. So instead of that, I'm using xanthan gum. And I did half a teaspoon. You could do a quarter to a half a teaspoon, and that's gonna be your keto th thickening agent versus cornstarch. Don't use that if you're new. Totally forgot to put in my load of laundry this morning. What is my life? That's all right, we'll get it done. My loads of laundry are getting smaller and smaller by the day. I'm thinking that after phase one, we're just going to have dedicated laundry days for sure, like Mondays and Fridays, because 
Waylon is legit wearing the same underwear every day. He loves his Mario underwear and the boy, like, he's wearing the same underwear every day. His teacher probably thinks that I'm not washing his damn clothes. 136, I'm going to get my electrolytes in plus my immunity multivitamins. I raved about this in last week's video if you missed it. This stuff is awesome. It comes in an orange pineapple flavor too, but I really like this blackberry one. And in Burgess always gets you a discount. Anything from Redmond's that I recommend. So I'm going to dry scoop this. I got laundry to do. And I'm going to unload and load the dishwasher in 20 minutes. Do you think I can do it? Load in the dryer. We'll fold it when we get back. She is unloaded and loaded for the win. And it is 154. Let's get our shoes on and let's get out here for this beautiful day. Because the rest of the week, guys, is supposed to be crap weather. What is my life? Power walk 5K for the win. A cold shower for the win. Feeling good. Feeling refreshed. Want to get a snack, though. Dinner's going to be another hour or so. So I'm going to try one of these cilantro lime turkey sticks by the new Primal. Y'all know I like the lightly peppered one so much. But my keto twin in with Jen, she loves this flavor and I just got a shipment from Thrive. So I'm going to give that one a try and let you guys know what I think. And then I've got some boiled eggs, eggs that I prepped. So I'm going to eat one of those with some Redmond's Real Salt outside and wait for Trey to get off the bus. Staying on this cilantro lime turkey stick, fire. You can really taste the cilantro and lime flavor coming through. And I really feel that way about the pepper one. You can really feel the pepper coming through in those. These are awesome, guys. 45 calories, zero grams of sugar, one net carb, seven grams of protein, and one and a half grams of fat. This is a great like macronutrient stick to have on your journey, whether you're losing weight, building muscle, maintenance mode, regardless. Trey's eating his dinner, so mommy folded some laundry. We're gonna put this away. And we'll have only our floors to vacuum and mop left for a critical task. With the tomato basil chicken, we are using these Thrive Market Wonder Noodles. I am loving these. We use the fettuccine ones for Easter to make Dakito ladies macaroni and cheese, and they are fire. And the good thing about these guys is that they don't have as many added things that the Pasta Zero ones do from Walmart. So skip those and get these from Thrive. Always have a link with a discount down below. These are zero net carb ingredients, stellar. Oh man, we are loving them. So what you do guys, cause they are funky smelling when you take them out the bag, not gonna lie. So rinse them real well in your colander and then pan fry them in some butter or I'm gonna use avocado oil and then just toss them in your pasta sauce and you're good to go. The noodles are ready to go. Added some Redmond's Real Salt, Sofrito, and Parsley, and I'm just gonna take it off the heat until we're ready to plate it. 5.30, dinner happening early because we've gotta get to Waylon's first coach pitch game. So Trey's taking a little snooze over there. I gotta wake his booty up, but I'm gonna eat dinner first. So it's got a side salad with some cucumber on there, half an avocado, goat cheese crumbles, one egg diced up, and then we also have these epic uncured bacon bits, the hickory smoked. I've been getting these from Thrive Market and loving them. They have a chicken bit one too. Look at the macros on there, fire and ingredients next level if you're looking for a clean bacon bit option. And they're really good, I've had them before. Then here's the tomato basil chicken over those Wonder Noodles. I mean, that looks bomb. I added some Pecorino Romano and then also some fresh basil I chopped up. And then for the salad, I'm gonna use the Primal Kitchen balsamic vinaigrette is one of my favorites. <laughs> For those that always ask about daddy, daddy is right by Waylon. <laughs> Go Waylon, run, 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 run! Chi Chi! You here for Wei Wei? Being a boy? Back home from baseball, and we are still doing our yoga bowl. So if you are new, it's the FIA 0%. Strawberry Keto Collagen from Perfect Keto. Still have that buy one, get one 40% off collagen deal up until the 30th. Creamy Almond Butter from Sam's Club. And these are strawberries that are locally grown right here. Look how deep red they are versus those ones I've been getting from the store. I am here for it, and they smell amazing that is going to be a treat this week i'm going to start buying them on the side of the road they've been selling them so i'm going to keep doing that until the season is over 
So we finished drinking our gallon a while ago. We followed our keto diet, no cheats and alcohol, this thing right here, Lord of mercy. We finished our last critical task and mama's got to get up super early, not usually on a Tuesday, but like what is going on with this weather for April? Like I keep saying, like severe storms the next four days. So I got to get up hella early. We got to turn it on. Day 23, phase one, 75 hard. We are up at the Planet Fitness. We have done all the things this morning. So this morning I did my 5K, walked it. As you guys can probably see, the weather here is supposed to be like severe. Like we're supposed to get up to nine inches in the next three days. Like this has been going on week after week. Like lightning strike just over there. I gotta get my AWS up in this gym like pronto. It's like no joke. So I got up this morning and just did my 5K walk because today is a walk day for me because at my peak time that I usually work out, it would be like not happening because it would be too date. Y'all hear this? It would be too dangerous for me to go. So I need to get up in the mornings and do my, my outdoor workouts the next couple of days. I don't know if I'm gonna run or not. I ran a little bit today. The foot's feeling better. So I feel like I'm conditioning it back. Uh, eight miles was a lot. It was a lot on my body. It was a lot on the foot since we hadn't ran like that since November. I definitely could remember what was going on, right? I've been running just fine on five miles or six miles just fine on the foot with no discomfort at all. So I don't want to push it at all because I want to continue to run and not be out the running game like I was for months upon end before. Today is biceps and triceps day. I'm so stoked to get in here. We had breakfast on repeat. That's why I didn't even talk or show you guys because it was the exact same breakfast. I'm loving Loving like those egg whites in the eggs like that and the eggs I cooked a little bit differently today so they were a little runny not all the way but it's like spot on good that everything but the bagel seasoning and egg whites is all you need freaking bomb I took my pre-workout just now I did not take it this morning so yes I got up at five o'clock this morning and walked y'all without coffee or pre-workout who is she I was feeling fire this morning I'm not gonna lie so I saved my pre-workout for today because I want to go in here and slay biceps and triceps. If you watch last week's video, I did an at-home workout, which was killer by the way, but I'm ready to get in here and use some of the equipment I don't have at home to go ahead and slay it. It's about to start raining. Don't forget guys, we had some little technical difficulties with the equip deal last week. If you're watching on Monday, still, if you use NB Pre 25, you get 25% off all of the gym juice. That is a killer deal. And I don't know when I'm going to get another code like that besides my normal 15% code. So definitely take advantage of that if you want to try it or if you use it like me, like a fiend, go and stock up. Let's go and slay biceps and triceps, y'all. We have gotten all kinds of things done, feeling hella productive today. We are going to go in with a late lunch after we work out and it's going to be basic and boring, but delicious. Let's go. <laughs> And you can also get some great exercises from Pinterest too. Y'all been asking a lot where I've been getting my exercises at. And y'all saw the uh, pull-up clips that I included. And that was the first time I've ever even attempted to do an unassisted pull-up. I was like, for poops and giggles, let me just see where we're at. And we're definitely not there. My goal, my goal in life is to be able to do one unassisted pull up and I will be happy. I don't need to do 10 or a million pull ups, just one. And I will feel so accomplished in life if I get one done. Are we better than where we were like oh, almost three years ago? 
a million percent. I like to show you guys my flaws, my struggles, because we keep it a hundred percent here. And the reason why is because I am just like you. I mention this every single week. I am no better than anybody else out there. And influencers sometimes want to show you just what they want to show you, right? I'm guilty of that too over on Instagram, posting selfies and things like that. But I also really strive to show you that I have flaws too. I have cellulite. I have fat on my body still. I have issues with the gym as far as being able to do chest day and certain days are very weak for me and I mentioned that week after week I never say that I'm like so perfect I get the comment all the time oh your goals and this and that thank you so much but I've got a long way to go I've got a long way to go and we've come a long way since the beginning of our keto journey. I mean, a long way. And we've come a long way since the beginning of 2021, for sure. I like to show you that I'm struggling. I was struggling today with those pull-ups. I wanna show you guys that I am not perfect, and that's why I am showing up each and every day, putting in that work, putting in that dedication to be the best, healthiest version of myself that I can be, and just strive to get a little bit better and stronger each and every day one thing you will never see me do. So I could have looked at those clips today and been totally defeated and, and had a total negative mindset, right? But it was the exact opposite. I was so motivated by looking at those clips of me struggling trying to do a pull-up and it's just pushing me to go even more beast mode, go even harder the next time at the gym and just keep putting in that work. You will never see me quit. You will never see me quit. That is one thing I am not as a quitter. And I will put in that work and dedication. It might take me 10 years, but I will never quit until I get something that I am wanting to obtain in life. And I have, I'm a fighter and I've been doing that my entire life when it comes to conceiving children, when losing the initial weight, when wanting to pursue a different career. I have done those things and put in that time and dedication until we've accomplished them. And that is what you have to do, guys, to win at life, is do not quit. Don't quit. Even when it looks like it is bleak, when you're not going to be able to get to, to what you're trying to accomplish, if you put in that time each and every day, one day eventually, you will get there. You will get there. This is a journey. This is a lifestyle. This is not a race. There is no quick fix. There is no snap of the fingers and you lose all the weight tonight and your beach body ready tomorrow. It's not going to happen. But if you put in that work each and every day and that dedication and that time, you will see results and you will eventually get there. Be patient and trust in the process. As far as the pull-ups go, just a side note, I was watching a video of these beast mode girls that are like so beast in the gym and so inspirational. And they mentioned that to be able to do 10 to 15 pull-ups that they're able to do now, it has taken them eight years of training to be able to do that. So I don't feel so bad and I know I got work to do. So let's go. Let's put in that work each and every day. Let's keep showing up. Let's keep doing the damn thing together. We are in this to win this guys. I am struggling just like you. I am showing up just like you. And we are doing this together, right? We are doing this together. It is 1.35. It is time to go and get some protein in this body to get some more gains. Let's do it. Today we've got some chicken breasts that I prepped on Sunday. And I know it kind of looks weird with the green color, but that is from this Garden Ranch seasoning from Primal Palette. It is so amazing and tastes awesome, guys. I get this from Thrive Market. Amazing. So it's this with a little bit of olive oil and chipotle, chipotle seasoning. Marinated for like at least an hour, and then I grilled it on the Blackstone. Freaking epic. Just chicken breast, the Cook's Venture from Imperfect Foods. I'm trying the golden barbecue sauce from Primal Kitchen for the first time. I love this one because it's no fat, low in calorie, and low in carb, and good ingredients. Let's go. Got the Hope Hummus. We've got some cucumber, and then I've got a good culture cottage cheese with cinnamon and raspberries. So this entire second meal of the day, guys, only fat I'm getting is basically from the good culture cottage cheese, six grams of fat, maybe a couple of grams from the chicken, hardly at all, and everything else is just freaking high protein, and that's what I'm aiming for. I would normally put some eggs on this plate, as you guys know, but I'm having eggs tonight, and I already had three this morning, plus egg whites, so we're trying to refrain a little bit from the damn eggs. Doing hella good on my second half gallon, so I'm also going to drink my Zevia Cherry Cola Tall Boy. Get these from Amazon. I will link them down below. I didn't link them last week. 
Jen, did you get your order in on Amazon, girl? Did you get your tall boy cherry colas? You better have. High protein for the win. That golden barbecue sauce, hands down, better than their original barbecue sauce. I'm not a fan of their original one. It's a little spicy, and I know I like spice, but it's just weird. I like my barbecue sauce to be on the sweeter side. I love their Hawaiian ones and the mango ones. Those are for carb up days, not for regular keto days. But this one, as you guys can see, is just two carbs for two tablespoons. Spot on keto-wise, macro-wise, ingredient-wise. This one's a winner. 240, we got our second critical task done, which is the laundry. Y'all saw I cleaned the bathrooms this morning. Y'all know I love doing that. Not really. We got all kinds of stuff done, y'all. Now we gotta go get some YouTube work done before Trey gets off the bus and it is nasty outside. Almost four o'clock and we are prepping tonight's dinner which is crispy tuna patties. I feature these many times in what's for dinners and on the vlogs. I am obsessed with these and I'll have the recipe linked in the description box. It's a Pinterest recipe and let me tell you my substitution. So instead of mozzarella cheese, I use this Pecorino Romano from Sam's Club and then I added some sofrito from Trader Joe's Herbs de Provence as well. And the tuna that we're using since they're so much controversy with that documentary, Seaspiracy on Netflix, we're using the Mindfish tuna, which is pull in line caught wild skipjack tuna. And it all sounds, it all sounds great, okay, versus some of your store-bought tunas. I get this one from Imperfect Foods, guys, if you're wondering, and it's a good price. So little switches, you know, if you're like a seafood lover like me, after watching that documentary, we got to do what we got to do, girl. So I fried up the crispy tuna patties in avocado oil and a cast iron, and it's smoking up in here. I know better. I know better to use my little ratchet outside skillet thing and do it outside. It's all good. We got three of them there. We've got a lot of product going on. We've got the Primal Kitchen Chipotle Lime Mayo on top. Love that. Two poached eggs using my poacher thing from Amazon. I have it in my Amazon store down below. Y'all ask all the time. Ho pumice, original, cucumbers, flackers. I get these from Thrive Market. And I have some new flavors I can't wait to try. And that is going to be dinner. And of course, we're going in with our yogurt bowl. Do we need to explain more? I will tell you, these strawberries are fire. Like, I need to start stopping every week. And I'm almost out of almond butter, and I just opened this one. This is the second one for the month. I have a problem. I need to go to Almond Butter Anonymous, like, ASAP. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this? So we have our cold shower left to do and mopping the floors, and we'll be done with our 75 hard tasks. And I'm freezing right now. I do not want to get in this cold shower. It's really not that bad once you get in there. It's just the mindset. We say that with everything, right? the mindset of getting in a cold shower you just like cringe and like I have goosebumps right now we haven't even gotten in there what is my life hands down the worst cold shower of 75 hard phase one finally finally done the only thing we did not do today was take our electrolytes I need to make sure I do that tomorrow I'm slacking hardcore but we finished the floors come on for our last critical task for day 23 Tuesday on to hump day and it's gonna be a big one morning happy hump day happy day 24 phase 175 hard we did our interval training this morning with running slash walking to kind of ease up on the foot foot's feeling pretty good it's still tender but i'm not trying to push it but we did four miles this morning so i was happy with that I am beast mode hungry right now. I've got a ton of things to do before 1040. I have a dentist appointment. What is my life? I hate going to the dentist. Y'all comment down below. If you, I don't mind getting work done and I'm a trooper with getting work done, no lie. It's just the mindset. We keep saying that all week. It's the mindset of going. I put it off way too long and then when I go, I always have bad news because I put it off too long, girl, that's why. I don't know why I do it to myself, but we're going today. It's gonna be like a two hour thing, they said, so hopefully we'll be able to go to the gym. We'll see. We're gonna power up. I'm gonna show you what Wednesday and Thursdays are made for for breakfast. Yogurt bowl is always post-run long walk on Wednesdays and Thursdays, loving it. 2% Faye, I go for the 2% versus the 0%. Y'all see me eat all the time because I can do higher fat in the mornings. We've got those fresh strawberries that are local, some blueberries, hemp hearts, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, 
And then we've got the base culture cinnamon almond butter that I just used my immersion blender that's in with Jen's hack. It's life changing to get it all smooth and creamy. Y'all ask me all the time what immersion blender I use. This is the one I bought off Amazon. I have it linked in my Amazon store down below. You can check it out. A lot of y'all are saying that you've done this hack and you've burnt up your immersion blenders. Oh snap girl. Like I I'm sorry. <laughs> like Jen and I are sorry if that's happened to you, but this one I've used multiple times and it has never failed a girl. So it is a trusty good win, like I said, in my Amazon shop. And then on my unbun bread, I've got some raspberries, of course. And instead of putting the base culture, I'm going to use this super fat keto nut butter. This is the macadamia coconut one. This one is really good. Now, super fat has some great nut butters. They're kind of runny, as you can see. I like the thicker ones from base culture, but the flavor on this is spot on. If you like macadamia coconut, oh, this one's so good. Check their ingredients, though. Sometimes they have like things that I wouldn't recommend. There's certain flavors, but this one gets a thumbs up from me. And then we've got a regular community coffee in there with the chocolate equip protein powder don't forget we got that smoking protein powder deal where you get like $15 off a bag each bag and then two bags free shipping killer with some cinnamon blended in the ninja and that is it before I get started on some YouTube work gotta get this laundry going 10 o'clock my dentist appointment is at 10 40 and I'm only about 15 minutes away from the dentist so I've got some time to get my reading done my meditation I finished up my first half gallon I wanted to chug as much as possible before the dentist and not drink any more so I could pee as much before I have to sit in the chair for two hours and then we will finish drinking that up hopefully when we go to the gym I've got my gym bag packed and ready to go for a leg day hoping I can get that done in time before I have to be back home and get Trey off the bus laundry in the dryer before we leave check 10 minute meditation done key 10 times since chugging that water check and I didn't have a chance to do my pages before I got to head out the door. So I'm going to take my book with me because, you know, they always make you wait. So I'll try to get some pages in while I have some downtime. Y'all see why I've been getting up at the butt crack of dawn to get these early morning workouts in? Wish me luck up in this dentist, y'all. I'll tell y'all the damage when we get done. Y'all, I am legit so freaking happy right now. And it might be because my pre-workout's kicking in. Do not leave home without your pre-workout. Yes, I packed my pre-workout bag with my shaker and a bottle of water because we can't use our gallon over here. And we getting our jack on because we're going in here to do leg day. It is 1225. We've got time to crush it. Still go home, get our second meal of the day, get Trey off the bus, get things done. Yes, indeed. Had an amazing dentist appointment. Every time I go into the dentist, they tell me I have like 100 cavities and I have like 500 root canals we got to do and all this and that. I'm happy to report the only thing I have to do is this one tooth that I went in there for that I've been putting off since high school. Me and this tooth, we have history, y'all. Not going to get into it today because we're going to have to do multiple things uh, to, to get it done. I have to get an implant basically on that right molar and it's been coming, like I said, since high school, but that's it. That's it. I had a good appointment for once in my life. And let me tell you, the last time I went and got my teeth clean, I know this is going to sound so horrible. The last time I got my teeth clean and I got a checkup and I got a bunch of work done was right before I started keto. Hmm. Now I've been keto and my teeth are looking all good. What? Let's go, keto. Let's go. I'm feeling so fired because I was expecting to go in there and like be like so defeated with having all kinds of bad things done because that's what happens every time I go. And today I had a good appointment. And let me tell you, do not skip on getting your teeth clean. Like we're going to make this a regular six month thing. I already booked my next appointment because man, she got off all kinds of crap on my teeth that have been there. I feel like a new woman, y'all. Yeah. What have I been doing? Not getting my teeth clean. I am like the worst, but not anymore. We have, we have turned a new corner here y'all we're going to be going to the dentist every six months getting it done getting this tooth taken care of and taking care of ourselves in other ways not just uh this at the gym you got to take care of your teeth you got to take care of other things mental health you know treat yourself all these things i preach it all the time and now we're doing our teeth and we're getting it done feeling fire let's get in here and let's kill our legs and our and our butt man what is my life it's our time to shine Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock. Just let your mind loose from the new stock. Drunk off the goose. Yeah. Think
thinking that I'm too black yeah. Getting caught with a few thoughts Cause, Cause I'm, I'm too to rough off. Speakers can't even handle me Giving what I got Nobody's gonna drain my energy And I will never stop I'm motivated by enemies Setting up shops So everybody remember me And though I am not going through life Regretfully I'd rather work non-stop What they call incessantly Than work some odd job Just to live life pleasantly Already got lost in my mind Not a fantasy I'm getting with it With all I've souls So stop dropping rolls Yeah, lost all control And pop off your balls I got what I fold I'm not bought my stock rocks, it's gold, hey knock knock She hold it's shit, talk to close I ain't stopping though, it's hip hop, you know Or is it rock and roll? I'm not dropping down, no, my pocket's grown You can't stop the show, so get fucked, you know So let me break, break, break it all down for you skip leg day and never skipped that booty gains y'all don't skip that glute gains it was fire like i felt so good in there today has been an amazing day the dentist definitely set it off y'all the dentist appointment with having a stellar checkup besides that one tooth yes indeed i'm happy about that man we did some of the uh squat thrust better at my form at those i will say we went up on the poundage on those as well and we did a ton of leg exercises, which I've been totally slacking on here lately. I was always doing leg day religiously, and then I've been focusing more on the glutes and not legs, and we, we gotta have a healthy mix of both. So that's what I did today. Did a lot of machine work today. So it just felt really, really fire with doing the workout. Glad I was able to get it in. It's 2.30, Trey gets off the bus at about 3.30, so I gotta hustle back home. I'm even hungry right now, but by the time I get home, I'm probably just gonna do a large snack versus a huge like lunch meal because it's too close to dinner time. Did you show up today, guys? Did you put in that work each and every day that you show up? And I've got so many of y'all that are like so hard on yourself. Oh, Nicole, I'm only able to do 20 to 30 minutes a day. That's better than most people on this planet are doing. Do not compare yourself to others and do not put yourself down. If you are making the option to show up, period, whether that be 10 minutes, you are winning at life. So do not put yourself down. Just progressively work your way up to going longer, going heavier on poundage if you're doing strength training. Don't ever put yourself down because you are winning. You are doing awesome just for showing up and doing the damn thing period. Three o'clock and this is basically lunch. This is more than a snack, I would say. On repeat basically from yesterday. So we've got some more of the Chipotle Ranch chicken, some of the golden barbecue sauce from Primal Kitchen, two boiled eggs with Redmond's Real Salt, good culture cottage cheese, that's the 4%, raspberries and cinnamon for the win. We're going to get this protein in, super low in fat. We're getting the fats from the two eggs and the cottage cheese, high, high protein and getting ready for dinner later. 30, I'm also taking my electrolytes. Remember I said yesterday I forgot them and I have goals to have these each and every day. Loving this Relight Immunity. If you want a two-in-one versus just having the electrolytes, highly recommend this one. And then Burr just gets you a discount down below. So I'm almost done with my half gallon, my second half gallon. So I actually have some liquid in there for once. Four o'clock and we got our laundry done. Let's just put it away. Wednesday's dinner, we're doing bass at the Hubby Caught on a fishing trip with some lemon cream sauce. It's a Pinterest recipe. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But basically, I put ghee in replacement of butter. I did half and half in replacement of heavy cream. We've got garlic in there, salt, pepper. I've got a shallot, a whole lemon juiced um, garlic. Dijon mustard is in there as well. To my bass, all I have in there is some of the Tony Sachery's Cajun seasoning that we love down here. I'm going to air fry it for 400 degrees for 10 minutes first. Maybe flip it and cook it a little longer. Lemon cream sauce is done. We're doing our side, which is just broccoli in the microwave. Don't get triggered. Y'all know how we do it around here. Wednesday night's dinner final product. So I air fried it on each side 400 degrees for 10 minutes and it's crispy. We're going to dip it in that lemon cream sauce. Half an avocado, Redmond's Real Salt, red pepper flakes, the broccoli with Redmond's Real Salt with some of the Hope Hummus and more red pepper flakes. And we had some andouille sausage left over from last week. I didn't want to go bad. Love that. Neem and Ranch, I think, from Imperfect Foods. That was so good. That lemon cream sauce will go good with any white fish. We have a second batch. I'm going to go ahead and put up for later. I can put that on salads, have it as a charcuterie board, dinner, whatever. That's going to be bomb. So, so good. And then I did bust out a cream soda Zevia because I'm almost finished with my last half gallon. And y'all know I love this one. The root beer and the cherry cola are my fave. 737, you know what's happening. No explanation. Get that collagen in your life. Everybody's jumping on it now. They're finding out. It's going to sell out. I'm telling you guys. And we got that promo till the 30th. I finished my pages. All I have left to do is finish up the last sips of my water. Mop the floors after I do a Zoom meeting, and we are donezo for today, baby. 
So we got our 10 pages done I showed you guys. We drank our gallon, we followed our diet, no cheats or alcohol. We just mopped and swept the floors for a wrap for hump day, day 24 on to day 25, almost to the finish line. So I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about your, I ain't never so let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never you know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about your, I ain't gonna make it. Good morning, happy Thursday, happy day 25, phase one, 75 hard. I cannot believe we are on day 25. Oh my gosh, like this has gone by so freaking fast. If I sound weird guys, allergies, the allergies got me girl. Every time this year, like I have some type of breakout as far as like my skin goes. I went and got allergy tested way back when if you've watched vlogs for a long time, you know, and I'm allergic to like everything outdoors and when it's like all falling down, it's a problem. But I'm like all like scratchy and nasty. But today I'm very, very grateful and blessed. I woke up feeling super grateful. Um, today is the hubby and I's 15 year wedding anniversary. We've been together 21 years almost. We've been together since high school. We're high school sweethearts, I know. And he came in this morning as we were both getting dressed and we kind of just spent some time reflecting. And last night we were doing the same thing, talking about like the ups and the downs through the 15 years. And it's just a blessing. It's just definitely a blessing. And I know a lot of y'all are gonna be like, girl, what you doing today? I'm up at the gym. We're up at the gym for our anniversary. I mean, obviously it's a work day. We're gonna be going and doing something in the next few weeks after 75 heart is over that way I don't have to do two workouts while we're trying to have our anniversary little getaway you know what I'm saying we did that purposely and not only that the mother-in-law's on a little vacay and we need somebody to watch the kids so it worked out perfect just feeling very blessed and grateful for all the things in my life and just feeling very very awesome this morning and this rain y'all though oh my gosh this rain is a problem it was a problem getting here like flooding everywhere it's supposed to rain more today I'm hoping to be able to do my outside workout around two like normal we're supposed to have a little break but it's been bad like lightning hail all the things tomorrow's the same thing i don't know what's going on and like the next couple days are going to be a struggle but let me tell you what's not a struggle is this pre-workout i'm telling you guys i just thought about it before pulling up i was like if people do not have this pre-workout i don't know what their life is like even if you don't work out y'all if you're a stay-at-home mom and like you're trying to like be awake and function and homeschooling and cleaning the house Freaking get you some pre-workout. This stuff is better than coffee, I'm telling you. And you know I love my damn coffee. This will get you jacked and jazzed and ready. And I still have that 25% off code if you're watching on Monday. Take advantage of that, girl. I don't know what I would do without this stuff. Like, this stuff is my life. I'm doing shoulders and chest today. And remember, if you've been watching, I've been keeping you guys on the edge of your seats about our surprise secret thing that we are doing today. That'll be later on tonight. However, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to do it because of the freaking flooding. Fingers crossed that it happens because it's been getting canceled every single week. What is my life? I ain't never slowing down, keep on going till I'm down. Now I'm never slowing down because we're blowing up now. Never slowing down, keep on going till I'm done. I carve words like a weapon, attack with no questions In my own section and they still disconnected Cause their mind's been infected and they're filled with objection Too filled for recollection so we're losing all attention They don't know I'm in contention cause I'm gaining their attention Cause I'm making a connection, lyricism and aggression Got me feeling my ascension and my passion, my profession I'm attacking my obsession, taking action and progressing uh, I go off on the enemy, that's what makes them scared of me Make my plans carefully then execute them daringly They say I act recklessly but that's why I'm effective See you can't predict my tendencies I offer no transparency Some people think I'm lost Others think I'll be a legend I'm never gonna stop Till I'm one above second And my thoughts at the top of my mind say We just freaking killed chest and shoulders Oh my gosh Non-scale victory with the push-ups Oh my gosh I am like so flippin' excited over that I know that it seems so silly for some of you guys That are like beast mode push-uppers out there The girl is not there yet I am not there yet Y'all know if you've been following me since the beginning of my keto journey I have documented me trying to do push-ups and usually I cannot get half as low as what I got today or do as many. So I did 10 with the video that I showed you guys and then I did increments of five. And I also was working on some diamond push-ups as well, which those are freaking hard. Push-ups are hard for me. Y'all know chest is my, my weakness, but man, like look how far, look how far I've come 
since starting keto and attempting in the gym to do push-ups. Like I was blown away by that. I could not believe it. I am baby in my right shoulder though. I mentioned in my Instagram story, I, I pulled something, I tweaked something in my shoulder. So you can definitely see I'm like favoring that shoulder and not going as low on that one because something's kind of like tweaked back here. I don't know what's going on. I am feeling so phenomenal after that was like so rewarding to me. So do not let the scale get in your head. I say this week after week. I haven't weighed since the results for 75 hard and I'm not going to weigh until the end of this and even then I don't want to because I'm loving the way that I'm feeling. Number one is always the most important to me and then I'm loving the way that I'm looking. I know that we are making so much gains guys. Definitely follow me on Instagram because when you watch this on Monday, tomorrow on Tuesday I'm posting a Transformation Tuesday and mind-blowing. Mind-blowing from 2020, I'm not talking about before keto what I looked like or way back when when I was 230 pounds. I'm talking about side-by-sides of me in 2020 to now. Whoa, mind blown. It's crazy, like it's so crazy how much your body can change in an amount of time. If you just put in that work each and every day, stay focused, stay dedicated, don't go off plan, don't get discouraged, guys. I know when you don't see results, right there in the moment because we're such a society that wants satisfaction and gratification right in the moment when you don't see it just keep going take the pictures take the measurements and just keep on pushing through and then when you have a revelation like me and you go and pull up a, a picture from not even a year ago and compare it to yourself now mind-blowing I'm telling you guys it works just put in that work each and every day you were doing all the things right don't let that scale determine your worth and determine all the hard work that you're doing each and every day. In the end, it's just a number. And in the end, it's us as a society that says what weight is satisfaction. Does that make sense? Like, I, I mean, who, who makes the rules with that? I know there's a BMI scale and all that. And I think the BMI scale is total garbage, by the way. I think it's garbage. I think it's garbage, especially depending on what you're doing. It's a good gauge, but it, it's definitely foolproof in my opinion. I am not a doctor by any means. I just think it's dumb what weight they want me to be at five, six, 37 years old. It ain't happening. I would look, I would look sick. I would look sick if I was that low on the scale. Who determines what is like um, normal and what is satisfactory in society for a particular weight? And that's the problem because we get this number stuck in our head and we want to achieve that goal. And sometimes it's not attainable or it's unhealthy to attain that number and that goal just because it's what we think we need to be. We need to worry. We need to quit worrying about what other people think, what society thinks and do what's best for us individually and our overall health. Breakfast on repeat again. I know y'all, I know, but it's just so damn good. The just made keto muffins and the egg whites. They're just so damn good y'all, I can't resist. Not gonna lie, it's two o'clock and the last thing that I wanna do on this planet is to go and do a second workout right now. We beast mode it in the gym. It is super hard to get these second workouts in in the afternoons. I will say that is one struggle of 75 hard in general that I've had the entire time. We're gonna go out there. We're showing up and we're not quitting. We never quit, we get the damn thing done. About to get Trey off the bus. I'm doing my yogurt bowl first tonight before dinner. I know what's going on. You'll see why later for our surprise. So I've got to do this now because I won't have time later. We still are going to do dinner, but I'm going to go ahead and use this as my post-workout meal today. My load of laundry is super easy today. It's Daddy and Waylon's baseball uniform stuff. Watching my keto twin in with Jen over there. Go follow her, y'all. She's amazing. We are doing roast beef sandwiches tonight. So I've got this diesel roast beef that I've had in the freezer from Imperfect Foods. It's the cleanest roast beef I could find, guys. I am making a keto brown gravy. Early, all I did was make the brown gravy, open the packages of roast beef, toss it in there. I'm gonna heat it through again, and then we'll just put it right on the buns with any toppings you want, and you have roast beef beef easy sandwiches. Here you have dinner. I put some Primal Kitchen mayonnaise on there. I'm eating pork rinds on the side. I had a change of heart and this is the porking good pink salt and vinegar. Super good. The vinegar flavor is not hella strong. So if you like salt and vinegar like chips, you'll definitely like those. And I love porking good pork rinds when I can get my hands on them for sure. So that's going to do it guys before we got to go. So bomb. Now let's get on the road.
We are back home. I just finished mopping and sweeping the floor for our last critical task of the day for day 25 on today, 26 Friday. And I will show you what we got tomorrow. I know. The suspense is killing you. Yeah, yeah, don't let your dreams yeah. stop, cause screaming yeah, is a blessing. they tell me all the same. Tell me I won't make a name. But it's not about the fame. It's about keeping me sane. Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy day 26. Phase 1, 75 hard. I was feeling tired AF. I'm telling you guys, I did not want to get out the bed this morning. We were running a little late because I snoozed for 10 minutes. I was not feeling it. Pre-workout. Get this pre-workout. If you're watching on Monday, you still have time to get that 25% off this equip pre-workout. This stuff, I swear, if it wasn't for this, I would not be able to do the things that I do. This is the Wonder Woman juice right here. Wonder Woman juice in your cup, in your life. Get it. It gets me jacked. It gets me ready to go. Without it, I wouldn't be able to do the things that I do. Last night, you saw, we went to the tattoo shop and we went and got our tattoo. So this tattoo tattoo that I'm showing you guys it means so so much to me I've been wanting to get this since we found out that Trey had autism when he got diagnosed I wanted to get some type of tattoo for Trey and then when we had Waylon which was a super surprise and I'm going to be sharing my infertility story with you guys um, here soon I definitely want to do that because there's so many out there that relate to it for sure and he came along I was like oh I definitely want to incorporate something together and I love elephants I love elephants because they signify strong strength they signify power wisdom luck all kinds of things that they stand for and i love this one because one elephant is bigger for trey and one smaller and they're holding like hands let's say their trunks and we've got the blue heart for autism yes indeed i've been wanting to get it forever and i've been putting it off putting it off putting it off don't put things off y'all i've learned that in the past like year and a half like really after starting keto i am not putting things i'm not putting my life off anymore i'm not putting my life off for health i'm not putting my life off for my family for us to go on vacation like if there's something within our means that we can do we're doing it like I'm not putting things off anymore because you're not guaranteed tomorrow that definitely stood with me when I lost my father-in-law very very unexpectedly if you've been with me before keto you know I've just kind of been living my life in that with just like living in the moment and if you want to do something don't put it off because you're not guaranteed tomorrow to be able to do it and I don't want to have any regrets and I want to live life for me a hundred percent sent all day every day so that was the secret that was a surprise how many of you guys thought it nobody guessed it nobody guessed it but I did have it was so funny I had somebody comment about getting a tattoo on my cyclical keto video and it was right before it was the day of me getting the tattoo I was like oh mind reader girl but I love it I love it it's gonna take like two weeks to heal but it, I'm obsessed I'm obsessed with it and I have one already on my back as most of you guys know it's a huge one and I plan on getting a couple more I love them I love getting tattoos and you do what you want to do I've said this when I did my going gray video if you want to color your hair blue if you want to have like nose piercings and piercings all over your face whatever it is is guys you be authentically you don't let this world don't let social media don't let anything deter you from being authentically you we should all be doing that we should all be our true selves we shouldn't be swayed by anybody we should do what we want to do because this is our life this is our life this is your body and you only have that one life to live you only have that one body to take care of and to get you through your life so take care of it and do what you want to do damn it hell yes we're here at the gym. Uh, we're going to do core, core day, knock it out. It is raining still. Like this rain is ridiculous. I wanted to do my run this morning. That didn't happen, obviously. So we're going to do an afternoon workout. Hopefully we won't get the wet AWS. And it's Friday. So you know what that means later. So I stay within my lane. Feel my blood pump through my veins. Feel adrenaline, no pain. Welcome all to my domain. Yeah. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never you know giving up. Take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't even So let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never you giving up. Take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never you know giving up. Take, take, taking that crown. Core day for the win. I've got to start implementing core more like I was. I've been doing the Sally Up Abs Challenge and I really think that 75 hard, one thing that it has really 
overly worked on me in a really good way is my core strength. Amazing the difference between January to before January with doing all this core exercises, but I got to start doing a dedicated day and today felt fire. I was not feeling it this morning as I, as I told you guys, but I took my gym juice. We went in there and I always strive to finish Friday strong because Saturdays and Sundays are my rest days. So just finish strong guys. Even if you don't feel like going to the gym, if you don't feel like doing your at home workout, if you're tired, AF just finish strong finish strong and you're gonna feel absolutely amazing if you're doing a run if you're doing a walk throughout the week and you're not feeling it finish it strong and you're gonna feel so flipping accomplished I feel fire after doing that it set the tone for the day the Sun's coming out let's go because we gotta do that second workout and it has been like rainforest monsoon and up in here it's Friday today is Friday so you know what that means I've been looking forward to it all week long Finish strong, finish strong. Crunchy egg Friday. Watch last week's vlog if you wanna know how I make it, super easy. So I've got the unbun bread, we've got the super fat macadamia coconut butter on there, raspberries, I've got my last of my chicken sausages and then I cut half a piece of a chicken breast that I prepped. Yes, I'm having chicken breast for brunch. It's 11.40, we can do it with all the damn berries. Yes, we go hard, y'all, we go hard on Fridays. We've got our regular community K-cup with chocolate equipped prime protein with cinnamon, don't forget, stock up, $15 off, $15 off. We gotta get all these protein gains on, get all these good carbs, coming from this fruit and get fueled for the rest of the day. Y'all, you're slacking. You're slacking if you have not done the Frenchie eggs at least once a week. It is fire. If you have tried Frenchie eggs or the Frenchie egg pancakes, leave a berry emoji in your regular usual comment. I want to see. I want to see how many people are on the Frenchie egg train. 1.30 and we're doing our pre-second workout combo on repeat, the Clarity by Black Star Nutrition and the relight immunity for the win. Two o'clock on the dot, let's get it. Lip syncing power walk 5K for the win, finishing the week strong for our rest days coming up. So freaking Jack for that. Now let's go get in the freezing cold shower. We only have a few more left y'all. Can I tell y'all how excited I am about that, that we only have a few more left? 3.30 snack time. We've got the rest of that chicken breast that we prepped earlier in the week and from this morning, the one that I cut in half and two of my last prepped boiled eggs with some Redmond's Real Salt, finishing up the things that we've got prepped for the week so they don't go bad and getting that protein in. 5.45, dinner time. We're doing bunless burgers and leftover mm -hmm. of the air fried mm -hmm. bass. And all I did was put the bass back in the air fryer for about 10 minutes on 360 on uh, each side, five minutes on each side, and it came out crispy and perfect to reheat it. So that's just a little tip there. If you have something get soggy and you want it to get crispy again, put it back in the air fryer. Hubby's got one of the Angus burgers from Sam's Club. I've got two of the chicken burgers from Trader Joe's with the thin Colby Jack cheese from Sargento. Got our eggs back there. Let's get it plated. So here's Friday night's dinner. I added an avocado with Redmond's Real Salt, red pepper flakes, mustard. There is the bass that we air fried back in the air fryer and we're trying tonight the noble made by the new primal tomato ketchup i haven't tried theirs before i usually do primal kitchen but it is really good as far as the macros go so instead of mayonnaise with the fat i'm getting my fats from my avocado and my eggs and my cheese instead and we're just going with some low calorie low fat condiments on the side that was bomb those trader joe's chicken burgers are freaking rolling this tomato ketchup was bomb too like highly recommend y'all let me know if you are a pickles and mustard on your burger burger girl or guy or if you're a mayo guy or girl I used to be mayo all the way but now I love that mustard pickle combo I don't even need that mayo no more 7 30 y'all know what time it is yogurt bowl time but on Fridays we do add the high key granola maple pecan I order this off Amazon I have this linked in my Amazon store in my description box down below and if y'all have not gotten the strawberry collagen like I keep preaching you better hurry up April 30th we'll be here before you know it just gotta finish laundry and then we're done for day 26. Nine o'clock, laundry's finally folded. Let's put it up and let's check off this checklist for day 26. Checklist, we finished our gallon of water. We followed our diet, no cheats. You saw we just finished our laundry and have I mentioned my abs are on fire from that core day. Holy smokes. We're done with day 26. On to the weekend, day 27. 
we are almost there fam so that's gonna do it for another phase one week we are almost there y'all we are almost there i'm filming this on sunday we've got three days left and let me tell you i'm feeling the feels so make sure to watch next week's vlog i have some other special dedicated videos that are going to be coming to talk about all the things and what's next beyond 75 hard phase one i'm gonna let you guys know this was an awesome week it was an awesome week as far as hitting personal best it was an awesome week and seeing where i'm struggling where we still need improvement on and just overall feeling amazing we got our tattoo this week which i've been putting off and like i keep saying don't put your life away y'all when it comes to health when it comes to something you've always wanted to do we're not guaranteed tomorrow so you have to live and show up for each and every day in the moment amazing week and i am just ready to crush this last week super strong i have so many plans that i cannot wait to tell you guys about going forward after phase one just some really exciting things here that I'm super pumped about and I hope you guys will be as well. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video and always coming back to these vlogs. It means so much to me. Y'all support, y'all's love means the world. Don't forget those two equip deals. If you're watching on Monday, we've got the pre-workout ends tonight on Monday if you're watching Monday. And then the protein powder is like, I, I can't even fathom that deal. It's like phenomenal. Don't forget about it. I have everything linked down below. The codes are down below. Go and stock up on those things. I don't know when I'm going to get another deal on the pre-workout workout or the protein powder. So go and stock up if those are things that you've been wanting to try or you use on a daily. I hope you are killing it at life out there, guys. I hope you are showing up and doing the damn thing. I hope that these videos are a little bit of motivation and inspiration to get you going each and every day to show you that if I'm out here doing it each and every day, little old me, little old nobody, you can do it too, guys. We are in this to win this and we're coming together to lift, motivate, and inspire each other, especially as women out there. And we we are killing it together, guys. We are killing it each and every day. I love y'all to pieces. I am proud of you guys. I am so, so beyond proud of each and every one of y'all. Y'all send me all stuff on Instagram. I'm getting emails from you guys. Keep it coming because it motivates me on my end more than you guys know. And I cannot wait to see where you all go on your journey as well. And I'm just blessed to be a part of it each and every day. Keep killing it out there. Let's go and finish phase one strong, y'all. I'm here for it. See you then. Bye. I'm from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't even so let me break, 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 break it all down for you.